How's it going YouTube? This is Wake Run Collapse. Welcome back to the Through the Year series where I take a look at how a Pokemon has progressed in the TCG over the course of however many years it's been around. And I show off all uh, iterations of Japanese cards of that Pokemon that I happen to possess. Uh, today we're doing Tyranitar, which is very exciting for me and probably for a lot of you as well. It was requested in the comments section of last uh, the last installment, which was Kabutops. So if you like what you see here, I would definitely suggest going back and checking out some of the other ones. I've done Kabutops, I've done Sceptile, a couple others as well. And I look to continue this trend as long as you guys are interested in it. Uh, so we will be showing off uh, 27 of the 28 Tyranitar cards that have ever been printed in the Japanese TCG. Uh, now, I do not possess an X and Y promotional card, X and Y number 287 in Japanese. Uh, I can pick it up online for like a couple of bucks, so it's really not too bad. Uh, but I don't hold it in my possession right now, uh, so therefore the collection is technically incomplete, but we have all the good stuff. Don't worry, we have all the good stuff. Uh, if at the end of this video you enjoyed it, make sure you hit the like button, uh, and if there's a particular Pokemon you'd like to see in a future installment of the series, make sure you leave that Pokemon's name in the comments section below. I would love to get your suggestions, and I've been basing a lot of the content I've been producing for this series on your feedback and the things that you've been mentioning to me. And of course, if you like somebody else's suggestion that's already in the comments, give that guy a thumbs up. Give that gal a thumbs up. I want to see you guys, you know, interacting with each other in the comments to help me make uh, my next decision. Uh, so as I mentioned, 27 cards. Let's just get into it uh, with the first Tyranitar card from Neo Discovery. Uh, Neo 2. I think it's Crossing the Ruins in Japanese. Uh, next up is a Fighting Type Hollow. Well, for its ground type, understand well, rock type, understandably. Um, this from Neo Destiny, uh, not the most recognizable card of Tyranitar from Neo Destiny, probably because it's the shining Tyranitar here. This is the one that a lot of people know. If they know old Tyranitar cards, they probably know this one. Magnificent card, not my favorite Tyranitar card, though. Believe it or not. Uh, the VS series, which was the Japanese exclusive, uh, had two Tyranitar cards. Had this um, this holographic card, which is number number ninety out of one forty one. And I'll show it right there. And there's a reason I'm showing the number uh, because the next holographic Tyranitar card is actually a secret rare. Uh, this one is one forty two out of one forty one from the exact same expansion. So pretty um. Pretty atypical for them to include two holographics of the same card in the same set. But it's still pretty sweet. Uh, here's your Godzilla style uh, Tyranitar, the non hollow version from E Series 1. And here is the holographic version as well. Uh, these were not side by side because E-Series 1 had a weird numbering system that numbered the commons, and then the uncommons, and then non hollow rares, and then rares, uh, like like holographic rares. Uh, so those cards are like 30 slots apart in the, uh, in the set, or 32. It was kind of weird. Anyways, this is my favorite Tyranitar art. These, is, these cards are from Wind from the Sea. Uh, specifically, the holographic version I like a little bit better than the non-holographic version. You do get some very fine detail in this one, uh, but I like the overall look of this one just a little bit better. Uh, this is from Naoya Kimura, I think. It's very difficult to tell the, the O's apart from the A's on these cards, especially when they're in front of the camera, but uh, truly stunning artwork here. Definitely my favorite Tyranitar art ever. It's just magnificent. Uh, next uh, next card we're going to show is actually a non-holographic Tyranitar EX. Uh, this is a T promo, a Trainos promo card, uh, hence the odd numbering at the bottom, 021 slash T. Uh, this was like March of 2003 this card came out. And the T promos tend to command uh, some pretty decent value. Uh, next version we've got is the uh, Tyranitar Hollow from Rocket Gang Strikes Back. 
pretty cool. I do not know if this is specifically a Rockets Tyranitar or a Dark Tyranitar. I would assume it's a Dark Tyranitar. But it could be one or the other. Next up from Golden Sky Silvery Ocean, a very recognizable T-Tar. The old school EX. And four attacks on it too. Remember when that was possible? Pepperidge Farm remembers. Awesome card. Very, very representative of some of the more prestigious days in, uh, in the TCG for this Mon. Uh, here we've got a non-holographic version of Tyranitar, followed by a holographic version of the card. And we're going to focus on the holographic version. This is from the Black Deck Kit. I don't know how well that's coming up, but there's a very fine glitter pattern on this card. Uh, that is prevalent in a couple of the cards in the black deck kit, as well as the silver deck kit. Um, this uh, particular deck kit uh, featured Rockets Moltres EX, uh, which is pretty famous for its holographic pattern, but doesn't show up terribly well with all this light, so uh, you can just trust me that it's there if it's not, not coming across for you. Uh, next up, Tyranitar Delta Species Hollow. Uh, this from Hall on Research Tower, making it fire type for one set and only one set. Really nice. I was glad to have it in my collection uh, just in the first place. I was really excited when I first got this card. Uh, upcoming, another Tyranitar Delta species. This time, it's an electric type EX from a Shockwave deck in 2006. Pretty awesome. I like how many different looks they uh, they can come up with uh, for this mod. I mean, practice makes perfect. Uh, here's a uh, regular garden variety hollow of Titar from the Secret of the Lakes expansion, Diamond and Pearl 2. And next it appeared as a non-holographic card, I think a non-hollow rare, an intense fight in the destroyed sky, Diamond and Pearl 6. Uh, Reviving Legends is where we see it next as a Tyranitar Prime, or a Great Tyranitar, depending on how you refer to it. Pretty sweet. Each set had four Prime cards, and the Tyranitar probably uh, the most popular of the bunch from that expansion. And I do also carry the uh, Mirror Foil version. It has a non-holographic border, and you can tell that the... Uh, the holographic styling on the uh, on the card on the lettering, uh, I mean even the even the top border is just it's different, and the uh, the mirror foil versions are pretty hard to come by sometimes, so I'm very glad to have that one. Uh, next up, we've got another another set of non holographic and holographic printings of a Tyranitar. Uh, these from a Tyranitar standard constructed deck, uh, which actually, amusingly enough also has the Legends Series 2 logo at the bottom, much like Reviving Legends would. I don't know if they were released on the exact same day or not. I'm not sure of the circumstances surrounding it, uh, but it's still pretty cool. Uh, not a ton of Tyranitar since then. Uh, pretty much all your Tyranitar action uh, since then has come in Bandit Ring. So we've got the regular Tyranitar EX. Mega Tyranitar EX with that awesome looking Destroyer King attack. Uh, Tyranitar EX Full Art. Always a beauty. And the Mega as well. So Tyranitar was not featured at all in the Black and White series on a Japanese card. But it did get four versions in Bandit Ring. And the final card that you will be seeing in this video is the Tyranitar Hollow from Awakening of the Psychic King, X and Y10. One day I may get that promo, but I'm not too fussed about it because once I start completing perfect collections for these videos, then I'll want to do it for all of them. And then I'll be broke, because there are some promos out there that are just insanely expensive. Anyways, 
Thanks very much for watching. I appreciate your viewership. Uh, make sure to drop into the comment section below and let me know uh, maybe what your favorite Tyranitar card from this video might have been, as well as suggestions for the future, uh, because I'm always open to see what you guys think uh, might be a good one to feature in a future installment. So thanks again for watching, and I'll see you back here tomorrow for something extra special. Maybe it's a booster case of some kind. Maybe.